come back to this video several times, but I think it bears repeating. What makes a good day, a good month, a good year, a good life? And I'm slowly restructuring what I thought that meant. A lot of it hasn't changed. How have I lived out my faith today? Have I lived Soli Deo Gloria? But as I've gotten older, the details have become much more up to me. My time has largely become my own again, and not in the sense that I have no responsibilities, I definitely have more but I have control over when I do what, and even some control over how much of what I do. This freedom to autonomously determine the best use of my time is a little bit exhilarating, a little bit guilt-inducing, and a lot a bit anxiety-ridden. What if I choose wrong? What if I choose too much based around me or too little based around me? Anytime I say something like this in videos, I always get at least one comment that's like, just relax, enjoy this privilege that you have in your life, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying. What brought this up for me again is um, S-Town, which I finished today, and I won't spoil any of it for you, but I think at least one or two of the main questions were what makes a person fulfilled or successful. I'm intentionally trying to be vague. And my idea of what makes a person, specifically this person, fulfilled and successful is all jumbled. I find myself confusing value with productivity and joy with accomplishment and reach with impact. And if anything, my ideas of what make a life successful or fulfilling have widened within the past couple years, but somehow that just just makes it more paralyzing. I don't know if I've used this illustration in a video before, and if I don't remember, you don't remember, so it's like when you're writing a story. The hard part isn't coming up with ideas, it's coming up with the best idea. And the hard part isn't coming up with words for a sentence, it's coming up with the right words for a sentence. That process of narrowing down is what makes something good or not. And, and a life doesn't have to be just one best thing. In fact, it rarely is. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'll never settle on one best right Thing. Maybe I'll never have a traditional career or reach a point where I think, oh, this is it. This is what all those little decisions led up to. Maybe it's just that I'm supposed to push forward in all of the different things I like to do. I don't know, but I want to be okay with that. Maybe this isn't the time, or maybe it's not up to me whether or not my life is meaningful. Am I okay with saying that? I think I'm okay with saying that. I hope you're having a good April. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I slouched 